I had an idea to, well, I wanted to paint some jellyfish. I wanted to scrap the evil design. She sent me some jellyfish dyes, and I thought that it would be cute to incorporate some of my painting with it. Guys, I don't even do my art anymore. Crafting has been kind of taking over things. So this would be a good way for me to scratch that to like paint and stuff so how this is out, i just really want to and then whatever comes to me will come to me so let me just cut these strips i'm not measuring them y'all know i don't want to measure and i'm just using some heavyweight cardstock it's best when you're color when you're watercoloring to use color paper, but I find um 110 pound cardstock fine. All right, with these masks, and painting here. I'm not done with. I'll do this off camera, you guys. But then I'm like, oh, let me find other watercolors. And I have no clue right now. So I was like, oh, I got a couple packs that I didn't open from a couple of years ago. That's pathetic, but whatever. I was opening the package and oh my God, I have like guys. So I'm like, let me open this up on camera. So I wanted to do a video on this some time ago. I get a chance to. These are some um, Amazon watercolors that I purchased. And. Let me know if you guys want to see a video on these. I'm using my water brush. And I want to start off with a light wash. So I'm going to use a little Because I just want to be like soft. I'm going to make this one a lot. Maybe this one. Okay, I don't really want to wet the paper. Let's do another one. And I don't know how I'm going to do this. I'm thinking about, like, maybe putting the dye. Oh, look at how pretty, guys. I've never painted jellyfish. Jellyfish are, like, the most things. Oh, my God. But they're so dangerous. All right, let's see. So I don't know how big that dye is to maybe paint and then like on top somehow that's what i'm thinking okay and i'm just gonna wipe it off next color i'm just gonna use purple When it's wet, you get these really pretty, like, it kind of, oh. this is drying extra fast for me. I think I like that. I kind of want to paint this background. Let's go for it. Let's keep talking over here. I'm 
No, I don't like these things. Uh, soften them, soften them up. These are really pigmented. Let's add, I want to add some pink to the water. Hopefully it won't turn purple, it'll probably turn purple. If you don't want it to turn purple, you could just dry it and then go over it again. But I just want to play around, see what happens. Just playing around right now. All right, let's try it. I turned it around because it started to buckle a little bit. This isn't watercolor paper. It really shouldn't take too much pa too much water. But as long as you dry it, you're fine. See, like I can go over with another layer and I'm going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to splatter. I'm going to do some splatters. I'm going to start with the pink. This is so pretty. It's so fun. Okay, then I'm gonna go on with the purple. What are you guys up to that are watching? Elijah doesn't know my, I'm live. I know he's going to bum rush in here. Like, what are you doing? All right. And then I'm going to hit it with the yellow. I should do the yellow first. What time is it you are? Where are you in the world? Yeah. Oh my god, I miss water so much. They say watercolor is one of the hardest medias to work with. Do you think I'm making a mess, guys? Alright. So right. It's five of eight. Let me hit this with the heat tool. Mine too. First, acrylic paint will be. Okay. So, I love the way it's out, but this one also was one I wanted to kind of play and do like a background. But look at this one! Oh my god so pretty so you get this pooling guys when you put a lot of water and you drop some pigment in 
it does this really beautiful effects. We got a little bit here, but not a lot. Okay, so this is why I started recording because I was gonna do this off camera, like I said, but I have this Hydrocolor order, guys. If you don't know about Hydrocolor, I had to really like stay away because you will easily be addicted and want to collect every single color. And I started opening this off camera and I was like, oh no, I got to open this on camera. So apparently I got all of these. It has all these colors. Guys, wait till you see this paper. Oh my God. Her metallic is, oh my God. I have like an iridescent white one. No, I don't. This one is called, so you can visually, it's been so long, you guys. She would usually just sell like a half pen. And so these are like samplers of, you know, different paint. But you can always, like if you like a color, you can purchase that one. Okay, let me see which palette I'm looking from all of these. They're all too bright. We're going to have to use the gold. This color is kind of cool, man. What is that color? It is way too cool looking. An old package will cause extreme happiness. She is not lying, guys. I've spent so much money with it. It's called Hydrocolor. I'll link it down if you're interested. You right now, tread lightly. Dawn, if you've never tried watercolors, girl, tread lightly. I'm telling you. But it's like, oh my God, it's so beautiful. Let's try it out. So with these metallic paints, typically, you got to like really wet it. Damn, my paint. And then really work it. That paint. It doesn't re-wet as quickly and easily as regular watercolors. All right. So you'll start to see that pigment move. You see that? You see that? That's when you know it's almost ready. This color is amazing. My God. Okay, so how do I want to do this? I kind of want to just want to splat it, but I kind of want to do some lines. Oh, it's like a brown. But it's got like golden stuff. Or black watercolor paper. Oh, I've never tried uh black watercolor paper. Okay, these aren't too harsh. Maybe I should just splatter. You'll really see the metallic guys once it's dry. Like it's amazing. Wow. Michael's color. place until like so many colors what colors can you come out with you know i don't know guys i'm just doing whatever that's the fun thing about like painting and watercolor is that you could just play you don't have to be so like perfect and just When you're playing, you know? Okay. Crazy with the splatters, whatever. Look at how pretty you guys look. You see that? Oh. Really pretty. Oh, it's pretty. Look at that. Look at that. Little stars. <laughs> I'm going to paint little stars. Let me do the back of them so they can flatten out a little bit.
Look at it, guys. So pretty magical. So I think I'm going to do a slimline card for my design team project. I'm not sure if I'm going to use these. But this is kind of the concept that I'm looking I'm looking for, like clicking it. And then I have the card from Tonic. Look at how pretty. It's like a white glitter with and some of the squiggles. And maybe like use my stickles. They're so fun, Don. I've only made um a couple of them. What are the right, correct measurements? That's what my thing that stops me from doing them sometimes. Like, I was just cutting this, and I was like, ooh. But I wasn't sure um, what um, the dimension. Is it over there, girl? Country. I forget where for Timo. Remind me. UK. Even bigger circles. Done. I might have to jot. Oh, that's. Too oh well. We're not wearing today, guys. We're just letting it. That is way too dark. This is such a magical color. Wow. Okay. I don't want to put it right there. Stop it. Stop it, Gucci. See, my problem is I don't know when to stop. But this one is so pretty. All right. Kind of soft in this. The right side is common are three and a half by eight and a half and five eighths. Five by eight and five eighths. Okay. One. These are like way too harsh for me, so I'm gonna have to. Even if I gotta do a huge. You gotta kind of make jellyfish. Shadow or something. Yeah, these are too harsh for me. All right, I'm on the paper now. How are you? Where are you in the world? And what time is it? So those of you who are just joining, I'm just playing around with watercolors. Um, Scrap Diva Design sent some dyes to play with, and one of them is a jellyfish, and I really wanted to paint you guys. Hey, Baltimore's in the house, okay. Look at me. And so I had the idea of taking those jellyfish and painting, like, so the dye is, like, probably, like, the smallest one is like this, and then the legs will probably come to here. I kind of want to, you know what I mean? Okay, so I'm going to take some of this, and I'm going to try to do a really light wash of it. I have no more water. Okay, I'm just going to These magnets are so strong. Guys, if you've never watercolored or painted, I highly suggest it. 
It is so fun. Are you guys fourth? Are you gonna, what are you guys going to do? Are you barbecue? If you are, can you invite me over so I can come eat? Look at how pretty you guys. This is what I'm thinking for my... These aren't the right measurements. I can fussy cut. I don't want to do because I really like the background. Or I can just layer it with other, you know, layers. A couple times. But guys, I just wanted to jump on here, sneak on, I snuck on here. And I wanted to share with you guys, look at how cute. See, the weather's going to be nice today. It's going to be hot and nice, but um, the air quality is so bad outside still. Look at how pretty, you guys. Check out Hydrocolor if you have not, but just beware. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I'm sorry this is a short live, but again, I just snuck on here. And I want to do it. I don't have, I've been, I cleared off my table and I move on my die cutting video probably. And we will die cut the jelly and do something with these, incorporate these somehow. All right. I love you guys. Next video, you guys enjoy your day.